Taking Algebra 1 in ninth grade can cost you up to $20,000 and make it way harder to get a good score on the SAT. The standard math track in most high schools starts off with Algebra 1 in ninth grade, Geometry in 10th, and Algebra 2 in 11th, which means you can't start seriously preparing for exams like the SAT or PSAT until the end of 11th grade, which sounds fine until you think about everything else you have going on the summer after 11th grade. You'd be writing your college essays, doing internships, doing projects in the fall of senior year to probably taking multiple AP classes. It's a giant stressful mess. Now, on top of that, the exam that determines the winners of the National Merit Scholarship Competition, which is worth up $20,000, is the PSAT, and that one is given at the beginning of 11th grade, which means that if you're on the standard math track, when you take the PSAT, there's a whole year of math they test you on that you literally will not have learned yet. So it's going to be very hard for you to do well in that competition, very hard for you to win. Now, you can fix all this and avoid all the stress by just skipping a year ahead in math at the beginning in ninth grade. Now, almost every school has a policy that will allow you to do this. Either you can skip ahead by taking a class over the summer, or usually you can double up on geometry and algebra two, taking those at the same time, and that way it gets you on track. That way you can comfortably finish algebra two by the end of 10th grade, you'll be in a great position for the PSAT, and you'll be in a great spot to be able to practice for the SAT throughout 11th grade and get a good score on that exam that will help you get into college.